Did you know that 10 out of 1 people, wait, no. Did you know that 1 out of 10 people in the UK suffer from some degree of dyslexia? I mean, probably not. It's not really something you would probably go home and search up. But why am I saying this? Well, my name's Conor Wainwright and I am that 1 out of 10. The chosen one. And this is why being dyslexic sucks. But first, what is dyslexia? Well, the scientific definition states that dyslexia is a learning difficulty that primarily affects reading, spelling and memory. But, how I like to put it is, I'm a 15 year old boy who can't read without a piece of coloured plastic, who can't spell the word chocolate without a dictionary, and shares the same memory capacity as a goldfish. Yes, dyslexia heavily affects our memory. So, to all my teachers out there, well, if I forget my tie on a Monday morning, you already know I have an excuse, locked and loaded. But those two things are only the beginning. I mean, I haven't even mentioned the handwriting, the reading out loud, and best of all, the headaches. I mean, who doesn't love a headache? I clearly do. Because, you see, I get to wake up with a headache, I get to go to school with a headache. I get to come home from school with a headache and go to bed with a headache for that 10 seconds apiece in the morning. Before we go all again, get in. We have a saying in my house, and it is primarily used against me. My handwriting is so bad, I, my parents say that I should be a doctor. And I love this because I think it's their sneaky way of telling me that they're proud of me and they think I'm going to do amazing things with my life. Or maybe they're just insulting my handwriting. Now, some people are scared of the dark. Some people are scared of clowns. Some people are scared of that dry kiss from your grandma when you go to stay over. Ugh. But I, I'm scared of reading out loud. Yes, the most talked person you may ever meet is scared of reading out loud. Why? Well, if you was me, you would be too. I mean, the fingers on the page, the stuttering, and best of all, the one kid at the front of the class that yells, Can you read? I love all my classes. Now, think about how this affects me. Think about how this affects the other 6.3 million people that also live with dyslexia every day. And although living as a dyslexic person may be hard, I have learned one thing. We shouldn't let being different stop us. So, use the fact that you're different. Share your view on the world. And don't let being different define who you have to be. And maybe just then you'll see that being the chosen one doesn't actually suck after all.